हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो सो आई गॉट दिस कॉमेंट फ्राम अमित दैट प्लीज डिस्कस सम बिहेवियल क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द डेवॉप्स टूल सो टूडे वी हैव दीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स गो सो बिहेवियल क्वेश्चन आर दो क्वेश्चन विच आर रियल वर्ल्ड इशूज एंड हाउ हैव यू रिस्पॉन्डेड टू दोज इशूज और हाउ विल यू रिस्पॉन्ड even though you haven't worked on it even though you haven't encountered such issues but still if you get this issue from your experience what how will you debug that issue and what will your what will be your strategy to resolve it so basically most of the time interviewer will ask question like this so we should be well prepared so uh, like in cicd tools uh tell me about a time you set up a ci cd pipeline from scratch and what tools did you use and what challenges did you did you face so you can tell like uh, earlier we were using jenkins but then when we migrated to uh, cloud and uh, when our organization asked us to you know use aws devops so uh, we had to mig we had to start using aws code pipeline so uh, we in order to configure everything the challenges that we faced was the permission challenge like how we can uh, you know uh, give permissions to uh, uh, to the required uh, for the required repositories to the required users to trigger the pipeline so first and how we will provide the uh, access the im roles how we will assume it, like uh, how the token should be created because security was also one of the perspective that we have to look upon so uh, that access giving access one was one of the issue uh, while you know uh, while integrating while using the aws code pipeline second issue was that uh, integrating the uh, github uh, or uh, gitlab whatever it is through this aws code pipeline because uh, how to you know uh, how uh, we can integrate so that once the code is pushed then the uh, build should start uh, uh trigger uh the trigger should uh, it should get triggered so that integration that uh, uh that providing access to everything and you know identifying that what all access we will need like uh s3 bucket policy and everything so this was the issue that that we faced while creating a cicd pipeline from scratch access issue was the main issue providing access to the users and basically uh, two different repositories and everything integration was the issue so this you can tell then have you ever had a pipeline fail unexpectedly unexpectedly and how did you identify and resolve the issue so first uh, yeah it it has failed because it can uh, yeah whenever you are creating a pipeline it will it it is sometime that it can fail because of uh, some uh, dependency uh, uh, which was not which unexpected dependency because of not proper testing because of you know some uh, uh, the uh, executors master slave configuration so executors were not present agent was not up and running that's why uh, the um, uh, pipeline script was failing or uh, some uh, some issue in the uh, integration or anything so yeah uh, the pipeline has failed and Uh, checking the logs and everything we have tried to identify uh, the issue that from where the issue is exactly happening and what needs to be resolved then describe a situation where optimizing the cicd pipeline significantly improved your team productivity is that ki um, if you have uh, configured hooks 
git commit hooks so uh, people like they know the standard the developers know the standard like uh, this cannot be committed and we have to follow this practice so there was a standard coding practice which was followed and also the um, you, you know whenever you are uh, triggering the build and this automation is happening that whenever the code is pushed so they are able to see their uh, where it is failing they are testing they are testing um, uh, they are testing it immediately so because of this um, they are getting the results and they are able to test it again and again they don't have to build it then manually you know deploy it and test it in the dev dev environment so yeah this all has helped a lot failures have decreased a lot like the errors which were reporting earlier they are not occurring now so in this way you can tell then uh, regarding cloud platform like can you share an experience where you had to migrate infrastructure to the cloud and what was your role and what tools did you use so uh, like uh, my experience was that we had a migration from azure to aws so migrating database was one of the issue because database was so huge so migrating it and everything was an issue and uh, we used uh, pipelines we used uh, you know we used aws database migration and everything to speed up the process then tell me about a time you had to troubleshoot a production issue in the cloud and what steps did you take so there are mostly when the application went down 502 bad gateway error because of uh, you know various reason that pods are not up pods are not working properly because of the memory issue because there is some issue in any in one of the pod so we check the logs we find out the error we have to and yeah this is how we were uh, we had to debug and uh, we have to connect with the team who is handling that uh, you know handling that code and everything to resolve that issue have you worked with infrastructure as core tools like terraform or cloud formation how did you implement and manage changes so like if there is any change so how did you do it if it's in dev then we can do it uh, like if it's a dev server then we can provision it but if it's a production server change then we have to look for approval and everything and then after proper testing and everything we can uh, that script we can apply uh, so yeah this is how it works so first that terraform script is used to provision the servers dev servers and after that production uh, servers are provisioned using that script so containers and orchestration uh, describe a project where you containerize an application what were the benefits and an unexpected challenges so benefits were that yeah uh, the uh, application going down issue had had reduced but challenges were that it was it is quite complex so to speed and up uh, and everything was an issue uh, at the first place so have you ever dealt with kubernetes cluster issue in production walk me through your debugging process uh, when the cluster went down okay when the uh, when the cluster went down so there if the, there are many namespaces inside that cluster they, they will also went down so how did you debug it so basically we had a uh, support from my azure aws we used to raise in case and to work with the team uh, and to get the rc and get it resolved as soon as possible so tell me uh, tell me about a time you had to configure kubernetes to handle scaling or load balancing issue so that you can tell then in monitoring and security purpose uh, security tell me about the time you proactively discovered a performance issue through monitoring and what action did you take then describe a situation where a security vulnerability was discovered in your cicd or infrastructure how did you respond and have you ever implemented logging and alerting from scratch what tools did you choose and why so um uh, where you like performance issue like uh, cpu utilization was going high uh, 
in one of our uh, environment every day it was around 70 percent 90 percent so through monitoring we were uh, before it could go very high we were able to discover and we were able to fix it by cleaning the old logs and everything then describe a situation where a security vulnerability was discovered in your ci cd or infrastructure so basically it was that um, security vulnerability was the access issue that was not managed properly so there was security vulnerability uh, in our infrastructure that everyone was given access to the portal or to the ccd pipeline the managers access management was not done properly it was not integrated with azure active directory or you know act ad that we have and uh, you can uh, uh, describe more that our pipelines were not written efficiently or whatever it is our infrastructure it was not uh, backup was not created properly so if if some if some disaster happened something happened we did not have proper backups and all so yeah you can tell all this have a collaboration culture and describe a time we had to bridge the gap between development operations team and how did you encourage collaboration so you can tell if you know scripting that yes uh they were um you know they and why that you have written the cicd pipeline and uh the you the scripts you have written to you know uh to hasten the process of the operations and development and tell me about because once even if uh, uh if we see any issue and the issue that we seen is in a minute then it can be resolved faster also right if we saw saw that issue one day after then the resolving time increases so tell me about a high pressure situation where something went wrong in production and how did the team handle it and what did you learn give an example of process improvement you introduced your team wow how was it received so if you are leading any team or it can be on you also like what have you learned by this time and uh you know how you have found yourself that you have your skills have brushed up and you know you have become uh a more efficient so this all uh you can uh, just prepare how these questions can be answered and these are very uh you know uh very commonly asked they uh in interviews so yeah that's all for today's so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye